Good afternoon. I'd like to welcome our ACS members to the American College of Surgeons Pathways to Fellowship Series. I'm Lindsay Kilgore, a breast surgical oncologist at the University of Kansas Cancer Center and an associate fellow member of the American College of Surgeons. The committee has developed this new fa uh, fellowship pathway series to spotlight surgeon leaders who have championed the pathway to fellowship for young surgeons. The goal of the interview is to help promote the value of fellowship within the ACS and among its members, especially those in subspecialty fields of practice. So joining me in conducting our wonderful interviews today is a medical student committee member, Haley Nadone. Haley, would you please introduce yourself? Hi, my name's Haley. I'm a first year medical student at the University of Nevada, Reno. Great, thank you for joining us. So Dr. Ford, we'd like to start with you um, and begin the interview. So can you please tell us a little bit about yourself and include kind of your title, your history and your where you're currently working? Great, thank you so very much, Sean Lindsay and Haley. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm Henri Ford. I am a pediatric surgeon by training, uh, but currently I serve as the Dean and the Chief Academic Officer of uh, the Miller School of Medicine at the University of Miami. Uh, I'm also a regent of the American College of Surgeons and I chair the program committee for the American College of Surgeons. So I have a lot of deep uh, roots with the ACS and I'm looking forward to sharing them with you. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We're very excited that you were able to take time out of your busy schedule to join us. Um, Dr. Hunter, could you please tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, and again, thanks, thanks for inviting me to do this. So my name is Kathy Hunter. Um, I'm currently a, an attending at Oklahoma Children's Hospital. If you hear an accent, it was because I was born and raised in Edinburgh, Scotland. Um, completed my medical school at Cornell in New York City. <laughs> Did my residency um, out in Los Angeles and then my um, pediatric surgical fellowship in uh, both research and then clinically um, at Children's Hospital Los Angeles. I currently serve as the YFA representative to the Committee on Ethics, um, which has been a very positive experience for me. Great, well, we are honored to have such um, renowned ACS members. So thank you all so much. So uh, we have some questions for you today that we thought our members would want to know about. Um, we'll start off with what does ACS fellowship mean to you and to your institution? To have the words FACS after your name after your, your title um, is really a badge of honor. Uh, it means that you're part of a select group of uh, talented surgeons. Uh, you're part of an organization that is synonymous with excellence because the motto of the American College of Surgeons is to serve our patients to, with skill and fidelity. And that so it really means that you represent the very best that American surgery has to offer. So if you're really not part of uh, the American College of Surgeons, if you're not a fellow, uh, I believe that uh, many patients may look at you in a negative way and say, well, if you're not really part, if you don't have fellowship in the American College of Surgeons, maybe you're not as qualified as the others who do. And I think that's a significant value of being a member of the American College of Surgery. But I think for me and for my institution, if you don't belong to the college and if our programs are not recognized by the American College of Surgeons, it means that we are not meeting the standards of excellence that are synonymous with belonging to the American College of Surgeons. And it also provides an amazing sense of community. It's a place where all surgeons, regardless of what your subspecialty are, can come together. And it also allows us when we come together in numbers to have a voice and an impact, I think at a national and a global level, something that you can't just do as a single individual. When I think about the bonds that I have forged, the mentorship that I've received by virtue of belonging to the, to the American um, College of Surgeons, uh, the collaborations that have resulted from participating in college activities, um, there is no way I could be where I am today and have had the impact I've had on American surgery had it not been for fellowship in the American College of Surgery. That's amazing to hear, especially as a young, I'm in my first year of practice. So to hear what your FACS and membership in the college has gotten you and really as that stepping stone, that initial breakthrough. So thank you very much. 
No, and I, and I, I completely agree. I mean, the ability to present at the surgical forum, uh, that was, that was an amazing opportunity um, that, you know, I also had as a, as a research fellow, um, you can receive that expert feedback and also you develop some public presentation skills, I think are really important as one tries to communicate one's ideas um, across a, a broader audience. There is a lot of, um, well, I would say career opportunities that end up emerging by the, the, vis the visibility that you gain when you are presenting at the American College of Surgeons now annual clinical Congress. Uh, and so, so if you want to enhance your, your, your marketability and your visibility, being present, presenting at um, you know, various um, you know, clinical sessions, panel sessions, these, those are the things that help you get discovered. So I completely uh, recommend not only membership, but participation in the activities because your marketability uh, increases uh, dramatically. Um, and, and last but not least, if you want to reassess your own net worth at your own place by virtue of the fact that others are expressing interest in you, uh, it means that uh, your department chair um, or whoever else, your boss is going to be inclined to try to increase um, your own compensation, make sure that you're happy so you don't keep looking outside. So, so um, it, it's just a great resource in general. Well, you guys both seem like great champions for the ACS fellowship. Even when I became say, the surgeon in chief of a, uh, of a hospital, there was not a single surgeon uh, who was not strongly encouraged or expected uh, to actually join the American College of Surgeons because you know I believe in it. I believe that this is the pathway uh, for all of us, regardless of your specialty, uh, to belong to the house of surgery because overall, that's the entity that's going to be able to defend and represent surgeons broadly. Uh, there are over 80,000 of us out there, and we need to have one uniform, unified voice that is able to speak for us. And I remind pediatric surgeons that we are first and foremost general surgeons. That's who we are. We just happen to be the general surgeons for children. Uh, so we cannot dissociate from uh, the main body of uh, of, of that is the American College of Surgeons because that is who we are. What would you tell your 20 year old self at the beginning of your career about fellowship in the ACS? Well, you, you've heard me say it already. You know, basically joining the American College of Surgeons has been a life changing experience for me. I would not be sitting here talking to you. You wouldn't be interested in knowing what I have to think about had it not been for the fact that I joined the ACS and joined it um, as soon as I could. It was the exposure, uh, the early exposure to the surgical form uh, that just mesmerized me because I got to see um, the thought leaders in action, the people who were writing the textbooks. And that was a source of inspiration. Don't waste any time. Just get in and the student group, continue to residency. And uh, when you are done, put that FACS tag behind your name. And I think, I think for me, um, first of all, my, my 20 year old self might have been surprised that I was going to become a surgeon, um, but um, it's just a wonderful career. And, and just like Dr. Ford was saying, you know, um, you know I'm, a, I'm a mom, I'm a surgeon, um, you know, balancing everything, it's, it's, it's doable, it's wonderful. There are so many opportunities. Um, I would say that for the, the ACS, it really is a home for all of us. Um, there's, it's inclusive. It really allows us to have a power on a broader scale. It's, it's a source of friendship. It's a force of education and professional development. And like Dr. Ford said, really mentorship as well. If you look amongst the broad range of his membership, you will find somebody that you can have as a role model because we're not all the same and we shouldn't all be the same. That's, that's not the goal here. But um, you can really identify people within the ACS that could really be great role models and, and mentors for you going forward. And I think that's really impactful. That's great to hear. So to you know, sum up our, our conversation today, what are your three takeaways for our surgeon colleagues on how they can address their career path and membership in the American College of Surgeons? 
So, so the takeaways for me are simple. A, if you've never attended the Clinical Congress, find your way to attend the American College Clinical Congress. I think in person is really the best possible opportunity because of the networking that it affords. And it's not just enough to make an appearance, but get involved, all right? There are all sorts of opportunities, whether you're a medical student, whether you're a resident, or a, a young um, a faculty member who's not quite yet to reach on, scholar, on fellowship level, there are opportunities for you to get involved in the affairs of a college. This is how you become more informed, and this is how you develop even a greater network of mentors and sponsors who will be looking out for you, regardless of your walk of life. You don't have to be um, involved in academic medicine alone. You don't. Have, you can be in private practice. You can be in rural medicine. Whatever it is, we have a place for you, and you can be. You can because the demographics are changing, and we need the voice of young surgeons to actually help transform and advance the American College of Surgeons. I would say, you know, keep up to date with some of the opportunities, right? So those emails that you get, open them, read them, go to the website, see what there is. And then if there's something that interests you, apply for it, apply for it. If you're not successful, try again. Don't be disheartened. As many of us know, success is built on a series of failures. So just don't give up. Keep going. Okay. And then when you do get an opportunity, put your best foot forward, be engaged, stay active, and, and more opportunities will come your way. I can't say enough things about the ACS fellowship. It's fantastic. And also look around for some local chapter possibilities. They're available to, to us on all our geographic locations. Get involved at your local level too. have an impact. Well, thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your busy schedules to conduct this interview with us. This was extremely helpful information. I think for everyone at all levels, med students, residents, and even people like myself, you know, new faculty members. So thank you so much. This is valuable information that we will all use. 